Hi everybody, Tara here. This is just a quick video to give you an update on our latest blog topic published today, which is goodbye and grief. This topic came up um, based off of one of um, uh, my counselling sessions that I've had, which have recently um, finished. And one of the questions that I was asked is, um, have I done a goodbye letter? And just hearing that question, it really, you know, it threw me. I, I didn't really know how to take that because it's not something that I've been asked before. It's not something that I've ever considered. So when I was asked that, I, it almost shut me down. I felt like put on the spot, but my counseling sessions are never about being pressured and I should never feel like I'm being judged or anything like that. So that was in my mind, but at the same time, it's like fear and anxiety and all of these thoughts started coming into my mind at the thought and prospect of having to do such a letter. And you know, I discussed this with my sister and she felt the same. It's not something that she feels that she would be ready to do at this moment in time because as we have said quite a few many times before, you know, we haven't really got to the stage of acceptance. And so, you know, a goodbye letter that seems really final, even though we know that it is that situation. It's just not a place that we feel that we're ready to, to be considering sort su such a thing. And that's why we decided that we wanted to do this as a topic because there could be other people that feel this way or there might be people that have got to the point where they're able to have done this. And so, you know, this is the reason why we wanted to do this as a topic. We hope that you will check it out at Grief Probate Journey. The link will be in the description box. Um, we also hope that you will subscribe to our YouTube channel, which would be very helpful. And as always, we'd like to wish you a safe day, evening, night, and thank you for watching. Bye.